From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. The big story this week is Idalia. So far, we've had 10 storms, two hurricanes, and one major hurricane. Now, we'll say the latest forecast indicating Idalia may become our second major hurricane of the 2023 season. So here are all the storms we've had so far, as we mentioned, 10 storms. But the big one this week is what will happen to Idalia. It is expected to become a major hurricane. Also watching this area over in the eastern Atlantic National Hurricane Center only gives us a small chance of further development over the next few days. This is Franklin. This is a major hurricane at this point. It is expected to get a little bit stronger. Maybe winds up to 130 miles per hour. It does have winds up to 115 with gusts up to 140. Probably bringing some increased rip current threats along the east coast. Increase in waves as well. So no major impact there, but this is the storm we'll continue to watch very closely this week. This is Tropical Storm Idalia. It is expected to become a hurricane and then move towards the western coast of Florida. You notice already do have those watches in, in place for at least parts of Florida. We'll zoom in a little bit closer here. You see the hurricane watching effect for a large portion of the western coast of Florida it is expected to become a major hurricane, possibly a category three storm at this point, and then move towards the north and east. And you'll notice South Carolina, at least parts of South Carolina is within this cone of uncertainty. But I will say small changes in the direction, speed and strength could lead to big changes in what we actually see. So we'll continue to kind of watch this as it moves a little bit closer to us in South Carolina. And as it continues, makes its way towards the United States. Notice that hurricane watch in effect for parts of Florida. Tropical storm watch have hurricane warnings in effect for parts of Cuba and Yucatan Peninsula. Tropical storm warning down there. But as we put our forecast into motion here in South Carolina, showers and thunderstorms will be possible later today. Pretty stray to isolated, we'll say. So a few showers and thunderstorms possible. Rain chances increase tomorrow. We'll call it kind of scattered shower and thunderstorm activity as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. But our big rain day is going to be Wednesday as what's ever left of Idalia at this point could be a tropical storm. Moves generally towards the north and east. Notice all these rain bands kind of shifting into the area. This is Wednesday morning and you kind of see that spin in the atmosphere. That would be tropical storm Idalia at that point. And rain, this is four o'clock Wednesday afternoon. But then as we get into the late afternoon and early evening hours, at least our forecast model showing the rain chances do start to decrease as the system pulls away from the United States and South Carolina, and then the weather does improve. So we are tracking Idalia, put the phonetic spelling there. I'm sure I'll mess it up several times before it's all said and done, but likely becoming a hurricane. For us in the Midlands, we're talking about heavy rainfall, the potential for some flooding, and some breezy weather. As of right now, the overall chance for tropical storm force winds pretty low for the majority of the area. You can see the actual odds here, the risk here. Now, the closer you get to the coast, those odds of tropical storm force winds will be on the increase and the odds for severe weather. This is Wednesday. You notice just a small part of the Midlands under this marginal risk, the lowest risk for severe weather. And then the closer you get to the coast, a slight risk, so a little bit of a higher risk there. Rainfall could be the issue though. Flooding could be the issue, especially for uh, the coastal region, even for the eastern and southern parts of the Midlands. Notice four to five inches, but the farther north and west you go, the rain chances do decrease, at least the amounts do decrease. So as far as excessive rainfall, there's a moderate risk here in this red area. It does include at least parts of the Midlands. So that's gonna be the big thing we'll be watching on Wednesday, that chance for some flooding. Today through Tuesday, afternoon storms, some localized flooding possible. Wednesday, heavy rainfall, flooding, breezy conditions, and that severe weather opportunity, especially along and east of I-95. Make the mention of some rain early on Thursday, but as of right now, it looks like those rain chances may be out of here late Wednesday, and then as we look ahead towards Friday, it looks like it's going to be sunny, dry, and mild. For today, a few showers and thunderstorms possible. Highs, upper 80s, low 90s, same range tomorrow. Temperatures are cooler on Wednesday as those clouds and rain are in, rains in place, thunderstorms as well. Then Thursday, Friday, low 80s, so not a bad end to our month in the beginning of September, and then looking ahead towards first weekend of 
September, Labor Day weekend, mid 80s on Saturday, near 90 on Sunday. The coastal forecast, expecting those showers and storms Wednesday and probably into maybe early Thursday, but Labor Day weekend not looking bad. And here's your upstate forecast, scattered showers and storms today, tomorrow and Wednesday. The weekend forecast, once again, looking pretty good. Looking ahead though, September 4th through September 10th, we do expect warmer than normal conditions. So enjoy that little bit of reprieve from the heat, especially as we get rid of the rain and the dahlia moves out of the area, our weather does improve, but we're gonna continue to track the tropics and we'll bring you any updates as needed.